guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing my July favorites, which is always exciting because I love favorite videos and I love talking about products that I love. So I'm excited to be sitting down and hanging out with you guys today. I don't have a ton of favorites. I haven't had a lot of favorites in fast favorite videos recently, but I have had really, really good favorites. So just know that even though there's not a ton of products, they are products that I completely stand behind and absolutely love. And I hope you guys are having a really good summer. I can't believe July's already over. And we're moving into August, that's so crazy. August is my two year wedding anniversary, which is mind blowing that I've been a married woman for two years and I have just had such a good summer. So I'm very excited that we're moving into August. I'm sad that summer's ending, but I can't believe the year is half over and I'm just excited to hang out with you guys today. So let's start off with brushes and I have a couple Morphe brushes to share with you guys. I did haul some Morphe brushes recently. I did like a big collective makeup haul and these are the two standout brushes from that haul. These are two Morphe Elite brushes and Morphe has recently changed their Elite collection to Elite 2 which is a little bit different style brush. It has like a darker ferrule and like brown red tips in the bristles but from what I understand they have the same brushes they're just a little bit more revamped so these are my favorites but you're not going to be able to get them in this style anymore you'll have to get the elite two brushes but this one is the e2 which is just like their it's a pretty classic powder brush actually but this is probably the best powder brush I have ever used and I mean that for like all over face powder not just like blending or dry brushing I really like the this one right here this is the Sephora Collection Pro Brush number 55. This is my favorite brush for dry brushing, for blending. Um, it's a much smaller, more condensed powder brush. Um, this is really good for just like helping to buff and blend products. But this one is the kind of brush that I love for like powder, for powdering your face if you are setting your whole face or doing a powder foundation. You can tell it's a lot bigger, it's a lot more dense. But I love this one because it does have a pinch in the ferrule here, so it does give you more of that precision because it is a little bit skinnier this direction it's not just like one big ball of fur and I love this one because it's really really dense to where you can get a lot of product placement but it's still extremely soft so that you are getting really great setting quality so you don't have to like pack on product with this it's really great for powder foundation if that's what you want to do but I find that it's amazing for setting just like going in and placing product it's so soft it's so luxurious it's like the perfect size and I'm really really into this brush this next brush is the Morphe E59. This is actually a brush that I got for setting. I thought it would be really good for setting the under eyes and blending out concealer. I haven't done that yet. I still feel like it would be good for that. I feel like it's very similar to the old school Sigma Kabuki brushes that people really liked for uh, blending out under eye concealer and setting. I, like I said, I haven't done that yet, but I still feel like it would be good for that. But I've been using it for bronzer and contouring. I know it looks really big for contouring, but it does come to a taper here. It is more of like a pointed brush. And I feel like it does very well at going in and sculpting this area out. And it kind of blends as you contour, which is nice. A lot of more precise contour brushes like the Eda brush or any of like the really flat um, kind of intense contouring brushes, which I do like, but brushes like this, you don't really get blending, you're more just placing the product. And the reason why I like this so much is because I feel like you can get both done at the same time. So it's just a really good like time saver and it's good for blending and placing. So I really like it for going in and contouring up the face. You can go around the perimeter of the skin. Um, it's almost tapered enough that you can use it on the nose if you're in a hurry. Um, that might make things a bit muddy, but I really, really like this one. I think it does a great job Bristles are amazing, super dense, super compact. I think it's a very versatile brush and I really, really like it. Okay, so you have a new face primer that I'm obsessed with. I love primers. It's something that happened to me last year. I like absolutely fell in love with face primers and I like get sucked into them and buy them all now. So this is one that I've been trying and I'm super, super obsessed with it. It is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, the Mineral Veil Primer. This is a super, super popular product and I'm probably the last person on the planet to try it but now that I have I can totally tell you guys I'm obsessed with it it's really 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 good it helps keep any oil at bay it's really great for people who have super oily skin I personally have dry skin so that's not why I bought it but I kept hearing all these claims about the products making your 
foundation waterproof and how it makes everything stay in place and helps to control the makeup's wear time really well. So I was like, okay, let's try it out. These mineral, these hourglass primers are kind of expensive. I think this one was like 22 and this one was 18, but totally worth it. It's so good. Um, the full size is much more, but a little bit goes a long way. So I feel like I'm good with just the smaller sizes since I'm someone who has a lot of products that I like to go through. I think that this is a great size. It does look really small. It's only, how big are you? It's 0.3 fluid ounces. That's like how much you get in like a concealer. So it is pretty small, but I think it's totally enough because you only need like one little tiny pump. Not to mention the product packaging on this is so bomb. Hourglass does such a good job. Everything's very sturdy, pumps work really well, very great presentation. But the product itself just super holds all my product in place. It prevents my makeup from creasing in like the smile lines or 11s or any forehead creasing that I tend to get because I'm a very expressive person. Um, and it really helps hold all the makeup down and prevent it from getting shiny. I don't have oily skin, but sometimes in the summertime or if it's hot or if I'm sweating, my makeup will start to get this like dewy look to it that's not necessarily from sweat but the makeup is just kind of melting and this really helps to prevent that and it really helps with these inner little nose crevices here that's an area that I get a lot of issue with my makeup breaking down and caking up is like in this nose section here and when I use this I just like do it in the nose do it a little where I need it and don't have a problem my makeup lasts so long. This is like glue for your face. I'm super into it. I'm really, really impressed by it. And I love the other hourglass primer, which is the primer serum. I've mentioned this on my channel before. I really love this in the winter time because my skin gets so dry and cakey and nasty during the winter seasons. So hourglass, your primers are super awesome. And I highly recommend both of them, but for the summertime and for those of you who are oily or want your makeup to be waterproof, hourglass mineral veil. So good. So I have an eyeliner that I want to talk to you guys about. This is from Marc Jacobs, and this is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon. Mine's in the shade Blacker, which is just their black liner, and this is such an amazing eyeliner. I've heard amazing things about this eyeliner in the past, and I just never really put much thought into it because it's very expensive. I think it's like $26, something around there, which I feel like is a lot for an eyeliner. But I actually ended up getting this in gratis, so I've been putting it to the test, and I'm obsessed with it. It is so nice. It is the creamiest, blackest gel liner Oh my gosh it's so so black it's so creamy it feels like you're applying liquid liner which I really like like the I like liquid liner a lot because it just like glides on you can paint it on you're done no fess this is very similar to that but in pencil form it's so gel like like it is the most easy gliding eyeliner I have ever used it's crazy like it's almost slippery that sounds weird but when you're putting it on your eye it just like slips across the eye, perfect eyeliner, no fuss, super black. It's crazy. Like this makes me feel like the most amazing makeup artist. I love it. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of pencil liners in the first place because I like a very sharp line and that's why I like liquids or gels better. But this is honestly just as good as a lot of gel or liquid liners, but in a pencil form, which makes it really user friendly. And I think it's something that a lot of people, especially those of you who are very like timid or shy about using liquid or gel would really like this. And I think that one of the things that's so great about it is how long wearing it is. You can put it in the waterline, it'll last you all day long. It's so creamy. It blends really well, but it doesn't um, blend too much. Like it doesn't end up smudging out of that precise application that you want. It's so good, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm very impressed by this eyeliner. I never thought that a pencil liner would meet the expectations that I have for like a liquid or gel liner. And this is, this is honestly it. This is so good. It's so expensive, but it's really, really amazing. And I think that anyone who likes super intense black liner and wants something that's sharp and precise and user friendly, this is going to be like your best friend. So my favorite mascara has been from Cargo. I have a lot of mascaras. I get sent a lot in PR, I get a lot in gratis. I have a lot of mascaras and I do like to switch them out regularly. I try not to favor specific mascaras. I try to give them all some love and give them all a go. And this is one that I have really been enjoying. It's the Cargo Boundless Lashes. It's their newest mascara. And it has a really innovative wand, which I think is really nice because it's very, um, it, it's the, 
synthetic bristles that are very pokey, which I really like because I feel like I can get in between every single lash, but they're far enough in between that they apply enough product that I get volume. Some mascaras that have a lot of little dense bristles, they're really good at separating the lashes, but they're very hard to build up because they're not applying enough product because it's focusing so much on separation and lengthening that you're not getting enough product built up on the lashes to give you that volume. So this one does a little bit of both. It's going to separate. It helps lengthen. I feel like it applies enough product that I get that intense volume that I'm looking for and it layers really, really well. I've been layering this with a lot of other mascaras and doing this as the last touch and it just perfectly fans everything out nice and beautifully, gives me the volume I want. It's super black. I really like this one. I have used it for, I've been using it for like three weeks. The first week it was not volumizing enough for me. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but a lot of times with mascaras, you kind of got to work them in. You kind of got to um, try them out for a little bit first before they get ready to use. Kind of like breaking in shoes. You got to break in your mascara. And I noticed that after I've used this for three weeks, it's perfect. So I love this one and I definitely recommend it if you guys are wanting to try out a new mascara. My last favorite of the month is from PYT, which is a pretty young thing, Hair Tools. This is the Thermal Heat Styling Hairbrush. I did an entire first impression style review with this product. I'll link that down below if you guys haven't seen it yet. I was sent this product and uh, when they contacted me and asked to send it to me, I was kind of like, sure, whatever. Like, I don't really think I'm gonna like it that much. I don't straighten my hair very often. And I thought it would just be fun to try out on my channel because I wanna do a lot of more, um, like trying things out and like testing things out for you guys on camera because I think that's fun to watch. And when I tried this out, I was super impressed. You can see my reaction in that video. I did not expect to love this as much as I do. This is the only heat straightener that I've been using this month. I use it to uh, straighten the top of my hair when I curl it kind of like this if I need to smooth out this top layer of like my bangs or on days that I have just straightened my whole head of hair. I feel like it's way less damaging than a traditional flat iron and it works really, really well and it's so fast. That's my favorite thing about it is that you can straighten your hair so quickly. This is kind of pricey, but I do have a coupon code, so I'll leave that below if you guys want to check it out. And definitely check out that video because I think it's so cool to see these in action and I've never tried one of these like thermal styling brushes before but this one's just so good. I was absolutely amazed by it. I did not think that I would love it as much as I did. I definitely didn't think it would be in a favorites video but I really have fallen in love with this and it's definitely a favorite so check that one out if you guys are interested in straightening products. All right, you guys, that's it for my July favorites. I hope y'all enjoyed. Definitely check out my description box below. I will leave all the details about what I'm wearing, products that I'm using, and all of the products that I've mentioned in today's video. So please check that out if you have any questions. And I would love to see you guys on my social media as well. You guys are so sweet. I love seeing you on Instagram and Twitter. That's so much fun for me. So please check me out there. Give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. That helps me out a lot, and I always appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Thank you for tuning into my favorites and for all the love that you guys have shown me on my channel recently. I'm so excited to hit 20,000 subscribers. That's going to be like the best day ever. So thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in a later video. Mwah.